All right, teaching friends, I thought that I would make a video and show you guys how I do graph for my kids um, because I think it's super important. You can touch base on literacy and all of the objectives in math for 20A counting, 20B quantifying, and 20C connecting the numerals with the quantities. So it covers a lot and I love it and I've had lots of success and this is why I choose to do it every year. So we, I start off with a question and I always pick a question on something that we were learning either that day or the day before. So it could be on the on an objective that we're learning like patterning letters um, you can make a pattern and say can you finish the pattern with shapes um, with anything right and then you could put do you have a letter a in your name or a letter t in your name um, and then uh, or otherwise i will take um, something that we learned from a book that we just read okay and so it's kind of like a retell um and so they can make a connection from the book, from the book to the graph. And I love it because last year they'd be like, I got a connection. And then they'd run and go get the book and show me like, you know, whatever question I was asking. So it's also good review from teaching like the objectives that you've already taught, right? So, all right, so this is what I first do is when we do graph as I read the question and they help me too, and we sound out the letters. So I'll be like, ooh, what's that letter? Does anybody know? And then, you know, give them some think time. And then um, if they say W, W, clear, that is a W. What sound does it make? Wah, 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 wah. So we say wah, uh, t. Ooh, I hear a t, t. We learned this letter the um, previous. What did we? What sound does it make? T, 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 t. What is y, 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 y? Why your or? Oh, I hear an r. Your or an r. Sorry, I hear an r. What is your? Ooh, what's that letter? I hear an f. Favorite. Ooh, what's that? And it starts with a O. Oh, an O. Hey, we just learned that yesterday. O makes two sounds. It's a vowel. It makes the O O oval and the A A octopus sound, right? But this is going to be a long O. Ocean. Ocean. Eh. What letter is that? A, A, animal. So what is your favorite ocean animal? And I always try to draw a picture too to go with the question because they can't read, right? So then, this is my favorite part, and they love it too. So I'll be like, what is that thing? And they'll say, it's a question mark. And I'm like, a question mark? What does that mean? And they'll say, it means you're asking a question. <laughs> so, and they love to do that. So then I'll say, what's your favorite ocean animal? Oh, I'm asking a question. And what are our choices today? So then I'll say, what are our choices? And they help me out. Dolphin. D, 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 dolphin. What's this one? C, C, crab. What is this animal? A T, T, turtle, T. They all live in the ocean. Do you remember we read a story that had the crab in it? Oh, I remember you learned about turtles. So it's just, you can bring it up a bunch of connections. And then um, usually my letters are way up here. <laughs> and then I'll swing around and be like, okay, Cynthia. What letter did you choose? Or Ariana, what letter? Or not what letter, sorry. What, um, what's your favorite ocean animal? So, um, Ariana might say, the dolphin. So then I go up to the camera 
and I say, this is the letter A. <gasps> Ariana, eh, eh. Ariana, and her name really is so pronounced. <laughs> you hear the R, we say Ariana, don't you? But we still do that. And then, um, Stephen, your turn. All right, what did you pick? I picked the dolphin. All right, this is the letter S, and S says what sound, friends? S, S, good job. So then we put it up there. We make sure everybody gets a turn. Even the teachers get to answer. And then we come back to it after break. Um, because I don't, it, this could be a lot and I don't want to overwhelm them. So we stop it and um, I do this right away in the morning. They sign in their name and when they're done signing in, then I flip my camera around and they're looking at this like now and then we get to do that. And then when we come back from our break, um, toward the end of the day, then we jump right into this right away and they're ready to go. So there's so much you can do with this. Um, so they each have their first letter of their name and we do, you know, the beginning sounds and what letter it is. So it's letter identification, it's letter sounds. And they recognize it because guess what? It's the first letter in their name, right? So, um, so we come back from break and then we read the question again. So let's say it's after break time and we're all coming back. So I do the same thing. So it's repetition. Ooh, does anybody remember? Somebody said this, they knew this letter this morning. What was this? Uh, wah, 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 wah. Double. What t t t? What is y y your f f favorite? Wow, that's a long word. Look at all those letters in that word. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. So all these letters make up words, don't they? So they're recognizing that. Oh my gosh, when you put letters together, they make up words. So what is your favorite? Oh, oh, ocean. Eh, eh, animal. Oh, 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 I hear an L. What is your favorite ocean animal? <gasps> What's that? A question mark. What does that mean? You're asking us a question. You're right. Good job, friends. <laughs> so then I would say, wow, look at our graph. So how many people picked the dolphin? And I give them wait time because I want them to be able to look at that and not have to count and be like, eight, four, three. So I give them a little bit of time. And then um, if they if they somebody gets it, usually you do. <laughs> it's great. And you're like, oh, ooh, she thinks it's eight. Let's count and find out. So then we count together. I'll say, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. <gasps> eight friends picked dolphin. Whoa. I wonder who picked. Oh, what's that? A crab. A crab. Oh, look at I see a C down here for a crab. I wonder how many picked crab. And then I give them more wait time again to see if they, anybody can call it out. Four. <gasps> I think you're right. Let's count and find out. All right, everybody count with me. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's the number four. That's the number four. All right, how many pick turtle? T, 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 turtle. Three. Ooh, let's count together. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's the number and we could say, can you show me three on your fingers? One, two, three. So then after we go through that and we're counting, then I will say to them, oh, I got some tricky questions for you, but I got, I don't think you're gonna be able to figure this out because you know, I know the big elementary kids can do this, but I don't know if you guys can do it. They're like, we can do it, we can do it. And so, all right, I got some tricky questions. Are you ready? And they're like, you're ready, you're ready. 
So I'll be like, okay, so what picture is the highest? Hmm. Which one is the most? So I first say the most. Which one is the most? And if they don't understand what that means, then I'll say the highest. So which one has the most? The dolphin, the crab, or the turtle? Yes, the dolphin. The dolphin is the most. It has eight. And then I'll say which one is the least? And if they don't understand least, and then I'll say the lowest. But we're also getting the math terms in the most, or the, you know, the most, the least. And so um, they'll say, it's the turtle. I'll be like, yup. And then I always say, is there any equal or the same? And they'll look and say, no, there's no equal or the same today. And then I'll say, well, how can I make the turtle and the crab equal? If I wanted to make these two the same, if I wanted to make them four, how would I do that? If I did this, could I make the crab and the turtle equal? Well, let's look. Four and four. Oh, I just made it equal. I added one to it, didn't I? So if I add one, I can make those two pictures, the crab and the turtle, equal. But you know what? Guess what? That's not what I was like, was it? <laughs> it wasn't like that, so I had to put this back. So no equal or the same today. And then I ask them too, when I ask like which one's the highest or which one's the most, I always ask, how do you know? How did you know that the dolphin is the highest? How? You know, and sometimes we'll be, because I'm just smart. <laughs> so, um, so I'm like, yeah, you guys are really smart. You're right. But look at what number is the higher one is eight more than four is eight the higher one yes is eight more than three yeah do you want eight pieces of candy or do you want four do you want eight pieces of candy or do you want three so i kind of try to relate to them because who doesn't like candy right <laughs> so i was like yes eight is the highest because that's a higher number and then um I just want to go over and make sure I got everything that I want to tell you guys. Um, yeah, and then as we get going, um, you know, you can also ask, like, what, um, what number comes before seven? What number comes after seven, right? So that's something you could add on to it, too, as you get going. And then, um, I haven't done it yet, but I eventually will probably after Christmas is I add the tally marks and the bar graphs just so they have the exposure to it, right? So I don't expect them to perfect this. To me, I'm just exposing, exposure, exposure, and that's like how they learn. So I will make bar graphs with my graph. So um, let me grab my colors here. So when I make the bar graphs, I'll be like, okay, this was eight. The dolphin was eight. So then I do it in front of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fill it in. And then I'll be like, how do you draw a number eight? Oh yeah. It's like this. Two circles on, stacked on top of each other. <gasps> That's an eight. And then how many picked the crab? <gasps> It was four. How do we make a number four? Mm, capital L with a line down. And then we do one for the turtle. So there's three different bar graphs, each for which, each for um, the animals that we picked. And this is great because it gets them writing numbers too. And they can do it on their dry erase board if you're doing Zoom or um, for a great transition, I had the kids come up before they washed their hands before lunch. And they practice writing their numbers, they practice writing their tallies, and then I use a song for the tallies. And it goes one, let's not pretend I'm doing it, but one, two, three, four, number five shuts the door, six, seven, eight. <gasps> and then you'll be like, is that enough or do you need to add more? So if you get to 10, it's a six, seven, eight, nine, 
nine, number 10 draws the line. And they pick up on us super quick. Like kids were journaling and doing their tallies with numbers because <laughs> they loved it last year. So, you know, one, two, three, four, there's four. And then if I need to make three tallies, like, can you guys help me? One, two, three. And so they're right along with me doing this. And like I said, and then for a great transition is they come up and they can either choose to do tallies or a bar graph or write their number. Um, but lots of times, of course, they want to do all three. <laughs> um, and if they can't write their numbers, then you know what? I take their hand and I go and help them and we do it together. So lots of information. I know this is very, this has been very successful for me though. And it's something that I want to incorporate definitely every year. Um, because I feel it's so beneficial. You're hitting literacy and you're hitting so many math objectives. So, and they're getting introduced to bar graphs for next year and they'll know what tallies are, <laughs> right? And for conference time, I have the kids um, come up and be like, do you wanna teach graph to your parents? And they're like, yeah, that's awesome. So they come up and they do this and their parents are just shocked that like they can do all this um, and they catch on pretty really quick, so. All right, I hope this was helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks for watching.